Welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup. Today, we're diving into the latest controversy involving WAC 100, known for being outspoken and unfiltered. This time, he's taking shots at none other than Diddy's family, stirring up allegations about Diddy's son, Christian Combs, and questioning the paternity of another. This drama unfolds just days after WAC backed up his friend, Ray J, following an alleged altercation with the Combs family. Let's break it all down. On a recent live stream, WAC 100 alleged that Christian Combs, also known as King Combs, was caught in intimate situations with transgender women. WAC suggested that this revelation was his way of warning Christian to leave certain people alone if they cross paths. He was unclear at first about which Combs son he meant, eventually clarifying it was Christian. WAC has always been bold, but taking aim at the children. Nigga, you fuck with transgenders. Nigga, you know, niggas, we've been... So that's what you was alluding to? That's what you was alluding to on that love? That's a fact. (laughs) Which son? That's a fact. The one look like him. Hey, Ghost, what's his name again? The one that look like him? Christian. That's Christian. Christian, yeah. And the other one ain't his. See, we, you know, you want to leave us alone, us that been around. No. ...of Diddy, one of the most powerful figures in the music industry, is a new level of controversy, even for him. But Wack didn't stop there. He went further, casting doubt on the parentage of one of Diddy's other sons, suggesting that one isn't biologically his. While Wack was vague about which son he meant, it's likely he was alluding to Justin Combs. Diddy adopted Quincy Brown, the son of Al B. Shore and the late Kim Porter. So the statement may also be trying to reignite that conversation, casting doubt where there really isn't any. It's clear Wack's words were designed to stir up attention and perhaps, fuel any tensions between himself and the Combs family. This recent rant wasn't random. Wack was addressing the Combs family following an alleged confrontation involving Ray J outside an LA party. Reports say that Diddy's sons confronted Ray J, though the altercation didn't escalate thanks to Chris Brown's intervention. After Ray J shared the details with Wack on a live stream, Wack amped things up by saying that it would be on if he saw the Combs family in the future. Referring to the 1990s, a time known for its heated hip-hop feuds, Wack seems to be laying down a challenge here. As always, with Wack 100, there's a lot of controversy, and opinions are bound to vary. Some fans think he's gone too far, targeting Diddy's family instead of focusing on the mogul himself. Others believe he's just defending his friend Ray J. Time will tell if the Combs family decides to respond to these allegations, or if this is just another headline that'll quickly fade. What do you think of WAC 100's recent claims? Is he justified or has he crossed a line? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you never miss the latest in celebrity drama on the red carpet re-up.